Hi my dear students, in the previous videos we discussed that is properties of matrix addition. So in that we discussed the first two properties I discussed. The first one I discussed is the uh, commutative law. So what is commutative law? Commutative law means here it is if I have the two matrices A and B are the two matrices then A plus B value is same as B plus A. This is what we can call it as the commutative law that I discussed in the previous videos. That is, if A and B are the two matrices, if you add those two values, whatever your value answer, whatever you are getting, the same value you are get if you add the B plus A. That is, if you interchange the matrices, then the value won't change. That is the first property and this is what we can call it as the commutative law of addition. We are discussing, please remember my dear students, I am discussing the properties of matrix addition. So, uh, in the addition of the matrices, these are of the four properties I am going to discuss. In that first one I discussed is commutative law. And next my dear students, another one I discussed, another one law that is A plus B plus C is equals to A plus B plus C. Again here it is, if you have the three matrices, A, B, C are the three matrices, then my dear students, A plus B is equals to first, if you add the first two matrices, and after adding that to that, if you add another matrix C, whatever answer you are getting, the same answer you will get. If you add first B, B plus C and to that, if you add next A, then the value whatever you are getting here is, these two values are same. So this is what the first law is commutative law and this is another one is associative law. My dear students, this we discussed in the previous videos and today's video we are going to discuss existence of additive identity. So what is additive identity then my dear students before that we should understand what is mean by identity. So identity means please remember my dear students identity identity means here uh, first I will discuss in this topic we are discussing for the matrices but just before to understand the identity element first I will discuss in numbers. So what is identity means here it is if I have the any number 1 to this number if I add with the 0 again I will get 1 only 1 plus 0 is 1 and next modification if you take 2 plus 0 then the value is 2 here it is and next modification 3 plus 0 is 3 is it so what it identity means what identity means for all numbers, you can take any numbers, for all these numbers, if I add with the zero element, if I add with the zero element, I am getting the same element. So therefore, zero is called as identity element. So here zero is called as identity element. So this is the concept here, my dear students. So this is, this I discussed in the numbers. The, that is the natural numbers I am right to care this and now I am going to discuss the same concept in with the matrices to the matrices I am applying the added, additive identity so additive here it is what I told identity element or identity additive identity means what to all numbers if I add with the one number so that I should get the same number so this is possible only if to any number, if I add with the 0, you will get the same element. So therefore, this 0 we can call it as the additive element of for the numbers, natural numbers I took. Now, now I am discussing for the matrices. So therefore, my dear students, the third property says that existence of the additive identity. Existence of the additive identity means for any matrix, if I have here this, if A is equal to a i j is a matrix of order m cross n for any matrix we there exist additive identity there exists additive identity means what you can take example here this i'll take first example then you will clear, clearly understand if a is equals to 1 2 3 4 so this is the matrix of order 2 cross 2 so for this matrix what we are discussing existence of additive identity so I took one example A is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. So my dear students, to this matrix, if I add with the O zero element, zero matrix. So what is zero matrix? O is nothing but the zero matrix that we discussed in the types of the matrices. So A is I am adding A with the 
zero matrix. So what is A, my dear students? A is one, two, three, four, and this adding with the zero matrix. And zero matrix is zero, 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 zero. So in the case of types of the matrices I discussed, zero matrix means what? Zero matrix means the element a matrix which has all its elements zero. Such a matrix we can call it as the zero matrix that I discussed in the uh, while explaining the types of the matrices. So and order is depend on the context, depending upon the which where we are using, depending upon that we should take the order of the given matrix. That is given of the zero matrix we should take here this. So zero matrix order is taken depending upon the so, so context. So therefore here the given matrix is 2 cross 2. So therefore the zero matrix I am taking it as this matrix is also of the order 2 cross 2. Now add these two matrices here students. So if you add this you will get 1 plus how to add the two matrices. The two matrices can be adding by uh, two matrices. The addition of the two matrices is done by adding their corresponding elements. Is it? So therefore 1 plus 0 is 1. 2 plus 0 is 2. 3 plus 0 is 3, 4 plus 0 is 0. So therefore, this is the A plus 0 value. Is it my dear students? Yes. So 4, sorry, 4 plus 0 is 4. Is it? And next, my dear students, if I add 0 plus A, as we know, commutative law, what is commutative law? That is, if you interchange the matrices, value won't change. Still, I am verifying here this. So, if I add 0 matrix plus A. So, what is 0 matrix? 0, 0, 0, 0. This is a 0 matrix plus to this matrix A, I am taking it as 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, my dear students, if you add these two matrices. So, this is the 1 matrix and this is, this is, this is the 0 matrix and this is the A matrix, whatever I took here. So, my dear students, if you add this, again you are getting here. This 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 2 is 2, 0 plus 3 is 3, 0 plus 4 is 4. So therefore, so these are uh, these two values are equal only a plus 0 value is same as 0 plus a. And my dear students, you can observe here it is whatever I took the a matrix to that if I add with 0, I am getting the same a only here. My dear students, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Can I write it as a itself? This is nothing but the matrix a only. And next here also, 0 plus A is upon also equals to what is this matrix? This matrix is also A only. So therefore, my dear students, if I have the matrix, any matrix A, then here you can observe here it is A, the A plus 0, A plus 0 value is same as this is equals to 0 plus A and these two values, A plus 0 value is also equals to here it is A and 0 plus A value is also equal to A. So therefore, A plus 0 is equal to 0 plus A is equal to A. So this is what we can call it as the existence of additive identity. So existence of additive identity means, my dear students, if I have the any matrix A, then there exists another one for any matrix you can take. For any matrix A, I have the zero matrix, additive identity, I have the one matrix. By adding that, I can get the same matrix. So therefore, so this is the condition. So A plus zero is equals to zero plus A is equals to A. Where, where O is, is it, it is nothing but the zero matrix. My dear students, for any matrix A, there exists additive identity. What is additive identity? Zero matrix is the additive identity. For any matrix A, there exists another one matrix, zero matrix. By adding this, again you are getting the same element. So therefore, this zero matrix we can call it as the additive identity or you can call it as zero matrix, you can call it as the additive identity matrix you can call. Is it? So like this, we should calculate here. So existence of additive identity. Existence of additive identity means to the any matrix, after adding, we should find the one matrix. After adding that, we should get the same matrix. So this is possible only if I take the matrix as zero matrix. To the any matrix, if you add with the zero matrix, you are getting the same matrix. So therefore, this zero matrix we can call it as the additive identity. So this holds for all matrices, my dear students. You can take any matrix 
to that matrix if you add with the zero matrix you are getting the same matrix so therefore that therefore we are telling that existence of additive identity for any matrix the there exists a zero matrix as the additive identity so this is the third concept next come to the come to the the existence of the additive inverse my dear students while explaining the identity element i took from i first discussed for the numbers like this i'll discuss for the inverse also so what is mean by the inverse means my dear students to the any element to any for l for uh, sorry first i'll discuss for the numbers my dear students so if i have the any number to this number we should fill in the box the number in such a way that i should get the zero that is the identity element so when it is possible my dear students to the any number we should choose a number by adding to this that number i should get it as the additive identity or zero zero is the additive ele identity element so therefore identity element so uh, when, when i should get this identity element to this value or to this number if i add with the minus to my dear students then i will get it as the zero am i yes can we get 2 plus minus minus 2 minus 2 is equals to zero so therefore this minus 2 you can call it as inverse of the these two so inverse of these two means what my dear students to the any number after adding the one number so that you should get the identity element such a number you can call it as the inverse of the given number so minus 2 is the inverse of 2 and here you can also discuss 3 so what is the inverse of 3 here it is minus 3 here it is because uh, minus 3 3 plus minus minus 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 so my dear students inverse means what to the any number first i am discussing for the numbers or later on i'll discuss for the matrices so any number my dear students to the any number i should add by adding one number by adding the number so that you should get a, get as the identity identity sorry identity element so what is identity element the additive in the case of addition identity element is zero so zero will act as the identity element in the operation addition so therefore my dear students 2 plus so minus 2 if i add minus to this number i am getting the identity element so therefore after adding which after adding the which number i am getting the additive identity so that number is called as inverse of the given number so then likewise now we will discuss for the matrices so what is the fourth property says my dear students the pro fourth property is for the any matrix a if a is equals to a matrix of the order m cross n my dear students so to this matrix a if i add with the minus a then i get it as the zero plus minus minus a minus a is equal to zero matrix where zero is nothing but here it is zero o is nothing but zero matrix so zero matrix is nothing but here it, it is act as the additive identity so therefore my dear students so to the any matrix there exists additive inverse additive inverse means what to the any number you should if you add with the minus a you are getting the the additive identity additive identity is nothing but zero matrix you are getting the zero matrix so therefore this we can call it as the additive inverse of a so therefore either you can write a plus of minus a or you can write it as minus a plus a also you can write but it's better to write this much only a plus of minus a is equals to 0 and this minus a is called as inverse my dear students inverse of a you can call inverse of a so this is the concept so now generally uh, if, if this is i uh, deeply i discussed here it is this much uh, this much discussion is not required just for the knowledge purpose i explain if you want means you can you can uh, see, uh, see the video slowly and then you can understand otherwise just you should know that if a existence of identity means what a plus 0 is equals to or, or 0 plus a is equals to a value it means that for any matrix a there exists a zero matrix so that after adding this i am getting the same matrix so that is the existence of the additive identity and next my dear students the existence of the additive inverse the existence of the additive inverse means what 
for the any matrix A, there exists another one matrix so that after adding these two, I will get it as the zero matrix and that after adding whatever you are getting as the zero matrix, this matrix we can call it as the inverse of A. Clear? I hope you understood. So this is the third property and this is the fourth property. So therefore, these are all the properties of matrix addition. So there are four properties we discussed. Under the properties of matrix addition, the first one is commutative law, second one is associative law and third one is existence of identity and next fourth one is existence of the inverse. So is it clear? And now I will explain now once in Canada. So properties of matrix addition are now, in the class, we will properties the discuss the commutative law and associative law. Next, we will discuss the existence of additive identity. Existence of additive identity is the matrix. So, this matrix is the E matrix is one matrix and a candidate So, yaw matrix, yaw matrix and the matrix and a candidate can tell E matrix is new candidate one matrix in the add madaga, new in sigbeku, matta, ade matrix sigbeku. So, adu yaw, yellow matrix you hold up there. So, the yaw, yaw case are possible, yaw possible at the end of the matrix is now zero matrix in the addition madaga. Good Sidaga Matra Namian Sikarati, Ade Matrix Sikarati. So, either name of the Karate, existence of existence of additive identity. Additive identity and thread, Yava on the matrix, Baker matrix and a Togondo, A matrix again, zero matrix in the Ad Madaga, Matta Ade matrix Sikta Rodrinda, E zero and Avana the Karate, existence of additive identity. And the matrix is a letter to additive identity and the matrix exist after the entire discuss more than anything. Third, that is third property, existence of the additive identity, my dear students. And next, the existence of the additive inverse. So, additive inverse and the hell is the matrix is the new inner matrix. There exists another matrix. Pratyon the matrix is the inner matrix. Yaw, the matrix is the matrix. Yaw, the matrix is the matrix. Yaw, the zero matrix is the matrix. Yaw, the matrix is the inner matrix. Yaw, the matrix is the matrix. Yaw, the matrix is the matrix. Yaw, the matrix is the zero is the matrix. So, yaw, matrix, e matrix is the matrix. Yaw matrix in the add madaga, zero sikta ideo, anta matrix in the karate way, inverse of A and the karate way. So, fourth property in the karate way, the matrix again, in the matrix exist after the day, in such a way that Yaw it in the other, E matrix and E minus A and the matrix and the Kudisaga, the Mujiro sikta the day. So, therefore, Yaw matrix and the Kudisan Mujiro sikta to, A matrix in the karate way, inverse of A and the karate way. So, either now please, either an internal code. The same concept we are going to use in the multiplication of the matrices operations properties on the multiplication of the matrices. Ali could I use matter. So as of now, addition now discuss matter the properties of matrix addition. So it is the existence of the identity and existence of the additive inverse. I hope you understood. And next, my dear students, next we are discussing properties of scalar multiplication of a matrix. So properties of scalar multiplication of a matrix. So, if you want to write or if you want means, you can write, write down or you can refer the textbook my dear students. Next, I am going to discuss properties of, so next heading is properties of scalar multiplication, properties of scalar Multiplication properties of scalar multiplication to a matrix. Properties of scalar multiplication multiplication of a matrix. Of a matrix. This matrix is now we discussed. For the properties of matrix the addition for properties we discussed for the matrix addition and now we are going to discuss properties of a scalar multiplication of a matrix. So we discussed first only we discussed how to multiply the scalar scalar to the any given matrix to the 
any given matrix if i wanted to multiply with the any to the any matrix if i wanted to multiply with the any scalar to multiply that i should multiply each element of the matrix with the scalar scalar is nothing but you can consider it as the any constant value is it so now my dear students in that the first one is again here if i have the matrices if a is equals to a i j is one matrix of the order m cross n and another one matrix my dear students b is equals to b i j of order m cross n if i have the two matrices my dear students and two matrices and next k and l and k and l are k and l are any scalar values any scalar any scalar means just you can assume it as the constant value any scalar then the first property says that the first property says that k into a plus b is equals to k into a plus k into b my dear students k is the any constant to that if a plus b is the a and b are the any two matrices so to any constant if you add the two matrices and if you multiply with the constant whatever value you are getting the same value you will get if you multiply the second constant with the a and then if you multiply the constant with the b and then if you add these two values the values won't change the value will be remain as it is this is the first property and next my dear students the second property is k plus l k plus l into a is same as k a plus l a so clear k a plus l a these are the two properties uh, we are going to use while solving the problem so proof is not required so simply you see if you remember this that's enough so here my additions what it says k is the any constant so if you take any matrix a plus b so k is the any constant value if first if you add the two matrices and after adding a plus b to this value if you multiply with the any constant the value will give the the value will be same if you add if you multiply k with the a and next if you multiply k with the b and next if you add these two matrices after multiplying a with the constant k and b with the constant k after i am multiplying k with it to these two and then if you add these two values then the value will remain as it is so this is the first property and the second property is if you add the two constant k and l are the constants first if you add the k and l this two constant if you add it after adding this if you multiply with the any matrix that value is same as if you multiply constant with a and next if you multiply constant with a that is l into a k into a plus l into a after uh, multiply after multiplying a this constant k and l and after if you add then the value is same as this value so this is the second property so if you want i'll discuss i'll take one example then easily you can come you can come to know so one example i'll take here my dear students a is equals to 1 2 3 4 and b is equals to 1 1 0 1 0 i'll take so these are the two matrices and please remember both should be the order must be same here this is it a and b are the same order i'm taking so therefore my dear students and you can take constant where k you can take it as 1 and l you can take it as 2 now i am verifying the first result so what is the first result k into a plus b is equals to k plus ab my dear students this i'll consider it as the this is the lhs part left hand side this is the right hand side rhs part so i consider the lhs so lhs is equals to k into a plus b so what is this value k into a plus b means k value is 1 into you can take one or you can take here it is two and it is three because one means again we get the same value one is also okay but for the under sake of the understanding purpose it's not easier you can easily you cannot get the concept therefore i'm taking here this two so therefore k value is two and what is a my dear students 
a plus here it is first i'll take so before solving lhs first i'll add the a plus b so that you can easily simplify so first i'll consider i'll consider or else let a plus b is equal to so what is a my dear students 1 2 3 4 and next b is 1 1 1 0 a plus b add these two values 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 4 plus 0 is 4 am i correct yes next my dear students you should add a plus b so consider now you can consider this is a plus b now consider now k into a plus b so what is k my dear students k value here is 2 2 into a plus b so 2 into what is a plus b a plus b value is 2 3 4 4 so therefore my dear students so how to multiply with to the any matrix how to multiply with the scalar or constant to each element of the matrix we should multiply so therefore 2 2 is a 4 2 3 is a 6 2 4 is a 8 and next 2 4 is a b my dear students this is 2 into a plus b this is your lhs this is your lhs is it i am verifying this result first property by taking the example so a is the one matrix b is the one matrix k value is 2 and l value is 3 i am discussing the first property so first i am calculating whether lhs is equal to rhs or not so therefore here it is lhs always to prove such a type of result the, to show that any two values are equal the, the way of showing is first you should consider this part either you can consider this part or this part this part we can call it as the left hand side lhs this part we can call it as the rhs right hand side so first we should first i consider the lhs to consider the lhs i should know the a plus b value so therefore a plus b is equal to first i calculate the a plus b after calculating a plus b i am getting it as 2 3 4 4 to that value i should multiply i required the lhs what what is the lhs k into a plus b so what is k value k value is 2 so 2 into a plus b 2 into a plus b value is this much i am getting now consider the my additions now consider the rhs so what is rhs k into a plus k into b so consider k into a so what is k value k value is nothing but my additions 2 so 2 into a what is a 1 2 3 4 to this my dear student 2 into this matrix 2 ones are 2 2 2 is a 4 2 3 is a 6 2 4 is a 8 this is k into a next consider k into b k into b so what is k value k value is 2 and b value is what is the b value 1 one one this is the b value so now multiply two ones are two two ones are two two ones are two two zero zero so this is k value and this is kb value now consider the rhs so rhs is equal to what is rhs my dear students rhs is here it is rhs is equal to or else i write here only rhs is equal to k into a plus k into b so this is equal to what is k value 2 4 6 8 plus k into b value is 2 2 2 0 so therefore my dear students add these two values so here it is 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 2 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 8 plus 0 is 8 yes is rhs what is lhs here it is lhs is 4 6 8 8 and rhs is 4 6 8 8 so therefore this is equals to rhs so therefore my dear students therefore this is lhs equals to rhs so this is this implies that what is lhs my dear students lhs is nothing but here it is k into a plus b k into a plus b value is same as rhs is k a plus k b so therefore my dear students the first result i verified by taking the 
example is it clear yes i hope you understood so nodi illi en discuss madidhi na antu helidre if a anodu one matrix so now illi discuss madta irodu properties of scalar multiplication of a matrix so yavade one matrix a anodu one matrix itta a matte b anodu ed matrix ittukondu adara order m cross n ittandre k and l are the any scalar athava yavade ed constants ittandre so properties en irthati modle property en irudu antu helidre yavade one constant ige a plus b ed matrix ana add maadi k inno constant inna multiply madadaga ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಏನ್ ಬರ್ತೈತೋ ಆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಯಾವ ಇದೇ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ಸಿಕ್ತು ಇದನ್ನ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಏನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಏನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸಿಕ್ತೈತೋ ಅದೇ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಕೆ ಗೆ ಈ ಅನ್ನೋ ಎ ಅನ್ನೋ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಕೆ ಅನ್ನೋ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕೆ ಅನ್ನೋ ಸ್ಕೇಲರ್ ಅನ್ನ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬಿ ಅನ್ನೋ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಇವ ಎರಡನ್ನು ಆಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಇದರ ಈದನ್ನ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಏನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಬರ್ತೈತಿ ಇದನ್ನ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗೂ ಅದೇ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಬರ್ತೈತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೈತೆ ಸೊ ಯಾವುದೇ ಎರಡು ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇವ ಎರಡು ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಆಡ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಏನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಬರ್ತೈತೋ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಅದೇ ಸೇಮ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ಸಿಗ್ತೈತಿ ನೀವೇನಾದ್ರೂ ಕೆ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲ್ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಇವೆರಡನ್ನು ಆಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಕೂಡ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸೇಮ್ ಬರ್ತೈತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಈ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟೂ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಎರಡು ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ನಾನು ನಮಗೆ ಪ್ರೂಫ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಪ್ರೂಫ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಗೊಂಡಿದೆ ಸೊ ವೆದರ್ ಈ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಆಗ್ತಿತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲೂ ಅಂತ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೆ ಸೊ ಎರಡು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಗೊಂಡಿನಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಟೂ ಮತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ತ್ರೀ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೆ ಸೊ ಈ ರೀತಿ ತಗೊಂಡ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಕೆ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ತಗೋತೀನಿ ಕೆ ಇಂಟು ಯಾವುದೇ ರೀತಿ ನನ್ ಬಿಟ್ಕೋರಿ ಸೊ ನನಗೆ ಏನಾದ್ರು ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎರಡು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಎರಡು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಗಳ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಸೈನ್ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಈ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಕ್ಕೆ ತಂದು ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ನಾವ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಮೊದಲೇ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಂಡು ಇದನ್ನ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಇದನ್ನ ರೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಆರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಗೊಂಡು ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಆರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕೂಡ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಆರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಎರಡೂ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸೇಮ್ ಇತ್ತಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಆರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಾವೇನ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಸನ್ ಬರಬಹುದು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರೋ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಐತೆ ಅಥವಾ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೆರಿಫೈ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಎ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬಿ ಅನ್ನೋದ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೆ ಸೊ ಎ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬಿ ಅನ್ನೋ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಗೊಂಡು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಅನ್ನ ಆಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕೆ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ನಮ್ದು ಕೆ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಂದ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಗೆ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಂದ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಗೆ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಏನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸಿಕ್ತದೆ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಮಗೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸಿಕ್ತದೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಬಿ ಸೊ ಆರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಕೆ ಏಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕೆ ಬಿ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಕೆ ಕೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಈ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ನ ಟೂ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಂಡೇನೆ ಸೊ ಎ ಅನ್ನೋ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ
B value, B matrix value, I'll, I took like this, K value 2 and L value 3. And you can take any A and B values you are wish, but I took here this, these values. Yes. Uh, come students, let's come. We'll discuss this second property. Yes. Here, K plus L into, first I'll consider K plus L into A. My dear students, uh, still at uh, I think we discuss uh, okay uh, I'll discuss K plus L first calculate uh, LHS so what is LHS K plus L into A so what is K plus L my dear students K plus L is K plus L into A so what is K plus L 2 plus 3 K plus L into A so 2 plus 3 is 5 into A so what is 5 my dear students? 5 into A. A is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is nothing but my dear students. 5 into 1 is 5. 5 to the 10. 5 3 is 15. 5 4 is 20. Clear. And next my dear students. This is your LHS. LHS is K plus L into A. K plus L into A value is this much. Next RHS. Consider the RHS. So, before calculating the RHS, we should know the KA and LA value. So, KA value is first consider or let KA value is equal to K. What is K my distance? K value is 2. And what is A? A value is 1, 2, 3, 4. K value is 2. A value is 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is equal to 2 into 1 is 2. 2, 2 is a 4. 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 4 is a 8. This is KA value. Next, my dear students, I will discuss the LA value. So, L into A. What is L value? 3 into the A matrix is 1, 2, 3, 4. 3, 1 is a 3. 3, 2 is a 6. 3, 3 is a 9. 3, 4 is a 12. So, this is LA value. Next, RHS. RHS is equal to, what is RHS my dear students? KA plus LA. So, this is equal to KA plus LA. So, what is KA value here my dear students? K already I calculated. 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. Plus, here it is. Uh, LA value is 3, 6, 9, 12. So, please add these two values, my dear students. If you add this, you will get it as 2 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 6 is 10, 6 plus 9 is 15, 8 plus 12 is 20. So, this is nothing but your RHS value. So, my dear students, so what is LHS? After solving the, this is nothing but your LHS value. So, LHS value is 2, 4, sorry. So, here it is LHS. So, LHS value is 5, 10, 15, 20. And my dear students, the RHS value is also same. 5, 10, 15, 20. So, therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. So, this implies. What is LHS? I took here this. LHS is nothing but K plus L into A. K plus L into A is same as RHS. What is RHS value I took? AKA plus LB. So therefore, my dear students, here, this is your second property. KA, K plus L into A value is equals to KA plus LB. So like this, you can solve the questions. Clear? Yes. So this is the second property. I verified here this. Yes. In order to first property already have discussed about it. One example I told you. example, the same value. Uh, this property I solve about again examples I told you. the same continuous example I told you. This property I verify about it. So this property I have told you. Yeah, other one constant I add about it. One matrix I multiply about it. Other value EM sixth day to the same value. Other value ni awa sixth day. So constant in the A multiply about it. Matlab constant in the A multiply about it. This value two matrices I have added about it. N value sixth day to two two value same. I have done. Now this property I have confirmed. Is it? So 
ಏನು ಅದು ಏನು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಏನ್ ಇದ್ದೀರಿ ಕೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಸೊ ಕೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಕೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎ ತಗೊಂಡು ಎ ಅನ್ನು ಹೇಳಿದ ಹಾಗೆ ಇಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಸೊ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ಏನು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಏನೈತಿ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಸೊ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಸೊ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡೋದು ಹೆಂಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸಿಗೆ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂನ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ನಾ ಏನು ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಸ್ಕೇಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೂ ಇಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ಫೋರ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಕೆ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಸೊ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ಕೆ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಕೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಕೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಟೂ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಎ ಅನ್ನೋ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಟೂ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲ್ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಎಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಏನಿದೆ ತ್ರೀ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ತ್ರೀ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಎ ಅನ್ನೋ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ಗೆ ತ್ರೀ ಅನ್ನೋ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ತ್ರೀ ಇಂಟು ಒನ್ ತ್ರೀ ತ್ರೀ ಟೂ ಸರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ತ್ರೀ ಸರ್ ನೈನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಸರ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಜಿ ಸೇನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತದೆ ಕೆ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಎ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಕೆ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಎ ಕೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಏನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಟೂ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಟೂ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಎ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಏನಿತ್ತು ತ್ರೀ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನೈನ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಸೊ ಇವ್ ಎರಡು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಆಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಫೈವ್ ಟೆನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಹೌದಾ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಏನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದ್ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಫೈವ್ ಟೆನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಫೈವ್ ಟೆನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೊ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಾವ್ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ಬಹುದು ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಕೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಆರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಕೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಎ ಸೊ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಟುಕ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ and then we verify so like this we can solve so these are the properties of a scalar multiplication of a matrix clear by using this next we are going to discuss questions some questions based on this okay my dear students i hope you understood still if you have any doubts you can comment thank you